on this campus, the legends literally cement their handprints on the legacy just a few steps away from Bryant-Denny Stadium. This is the home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. This isn't your run-of-the-mill matchup. You get a couple of powerhouses, both ranked in the top 10, and statements can be made in this one. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. off to get this game underway. From inside his own 15, looking for room. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. On first down, here comes this offense. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Oh, he dropped it, and what a missed opportunity early in this football game. And the offense clearly saying, we want to take those deep shots. We want to be aggressive, and I, and I think that's a good strategy because makes the defense really honor what you're going to do and just missed a little bit but I wouldn't be surprised if this offense finds a way to come back to some of those deep points. This defense has got to get better at tackling the open field and gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, have <laughs> fun with that. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains and he's got it at the 34. Well, you see a great individual effort there that time, and you can see the skills this guy has, and he just reminds me sometimes of the great Ohio State backs we've seen in the past, right? You think of Archie Griffin and his two Heisman trophies, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins. This guy right here with his skill set, he's got the chance to be the next great Buckeye back. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And the Buckeyes will have it first and ten. To the ground. He's got it again. Determined effort to pick up six and get it inside the red zone and down to the 16. And a nice job by the running back. Finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Now they'll try the right side. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And just a great job by the defense being stout. Right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. Gets it out fast. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. The Buckeyes trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. 
They took it 71 yards down the field, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Line gets set, first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Unloads to the wideout. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Now this offense tries to figure out a way to move the chains after the second down misfire. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Fires to the wideout. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Oh, a big decision here early as they leave the offense on the field in their own territory. They want to keep this opening drive alive. On fourth down, trying to find his man. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. The definition of four down territory. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Wants to throw. It's Howard. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And they swarm him under. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield. And they slip in the running back screen and behind it. There was nobody there to make a tackle. And this offense generates a massive play. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Hey, 
The Buckeyes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. They're working that left side. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. It takes advantage of a great field position. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Coming out with it, it's Bernard. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes that Alabama offense. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David. But up. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. And as an offense, you want to stay aggressive. You want to keep calling these downfield shots. I know you didn't complete that one. You want to send a clear message. You're trying to take the top off this defense. You keep calling downfield shots, soften up the coverage, get those safeties playing deep. That's going to open up your running game later on. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Pocket starts to collapse. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. And he's brought down after a huge completion. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. That last big play has them in business. Just outside the red zone, it's first and ten. The give on the inside. Running with power. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing. Going for it all. Ball in the air. Intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Well, the defense came into this one knowing they needed to create takeaways to try to gain as much momentum as they could. Really nice interception on that play. Great job with the eyes by the defender there picking that up. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, the offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Man, we're seeing the tight end used more and more in the passing game. You, you see him moving inside. You see him moving outside. You see him moving in the box to block people. So here they put him in the slot and just have a nice little pitch and catch session. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Wow, what a big play. And how about the hit stick tackle right there? That's one this offense is going to remember. Looking to throw a tower. He makes the grab, and he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Hey, this running back's got some sweet feet, not only to run, but to get a foot down in bounds. Got that toe down. The, the, the foot was just small enough, Reese. 
to get that puppy down. But running backs, man, you can you can do so much with these guys and their speed and their athletic ability and trying to get the ball to them as many ways as you can. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. They saw that blitz coming and the way to get out, and it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. And the Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. the gun the running back looking for room continuing to turn and move it forward and they're closing in on midfield it's down at the 48 the Buckeyes headed quickly to the line he's looking for a man on second down makes the grab it's Tate they get him on the ground but not before he gets enough for the first down time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Looking for a man, it's Howard. A shot toward the end zone. Fires into traffic, picked off. Takes it the other way. And he will be run out of bounds on the return, so the damage is limited as we wrap up the first half. Guys will boot it away to start the second half. And he'll bring it back. And the returner will be dragged down. or attitude or attitude adjustments they've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half i do think you said something that's important i think running the football is an attitude like it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical having a nasty attitude running back same thing i think they need more of that in the second half you know and i think again if you're this defense you have an opportunity to make a statement here yeah i know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us on this very first drive, we're going to prove to you, just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. To the air, it's Milrow. Fires one high and deep. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. And that one falls incomplete, a huge...